Well, this topic reminds me of a speech contest I took part in when I was a child. It was an English speech competition, and the topic was about life. I think I don't really remember, but anyway, my mom signed me up for it because she thought it was a good opportunity for me. But actually, I had no interest in it because I was a little afraid of speaking in the public when I was a child. But finally, I had no choice but to take this challenge. At first, I wrote a draft about what I want to say, but I was not so sure about it. So I asked my teacher for help. She was really nice and helped me with the content and、uh, also the accuracy of my speech. Then, after a few drafts,、uh, my speech finally got down to something about happiness in daily life, which was simple and、um, familiar to me, so I could remember it well. Then I had to practice my speech in front of the mirror over and over again, and my teacher also helped me with the intonation and you know the pronunciation and also the pace of my speech. She also gave me some useful tips, you know, like when it comes to some important points, I could stop and look at the audience to make an emphasis. Finally, the day came, and I was super nervous about it because there were so many candidates who were older and better than me. And then it was my turn. I came onto the stage, and I did exactly what I practiced at home. Actually, my brain was blank at that moment, but thanks to my practice,、um, it wasn't the worst. And unexpectedly, I got a small prize at the end. So I was really proud of myself. You know, after all, my efforts paid off, and I was better than I imagined. So I was really glad that I took this challenge, and I didn't give up.